hardware set up on the shelf, so whatever reason they took it off, I don't know. Okay. Now a lot of the windows, this one don't show so much, but look at the other ones where you see this paint mm. chipping off. That's some condensation. The cold air inside hits the warm windows. Water drizzles down, sets there, the paint chips off. Uh, the other rooms, it's a little more... Normal wear and tear? Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. Obviously, the ductwork is pretty dirty. It's going to need clean. That filter should have been changed, looks like, a year and a half ago. Uh, staining on the carpet throughout, just different areas. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the walls, just some hygiene and crayon marks and things like that. Now, I don't know what they had in here, but it looks like something went across. They got these big bolts here and over the corners. Just screw those out and then just patch the holes. Okay. Or leave them if you want to hang something. Right. Okay, this watermark right here, what that is from is, uh, it's no longer leaking, it's not wet. It was condensation from one of the water pipes. It's insulated now, it probably wasn't insulated. Again, cold water going through the pipe, hits that hot, humid air, mm -hmm. and it just drips. So, do you think that would occur again, or has it been taken care of? They put insulation of? on it. They put insulation on yeah. it, so it shouldn't happen again. Yeah, they, okay. they saw it before. They probably called an AC guy out here to do it. Okay, that's good. So it's been taken care of. Okay, uh, I don't know if you want to go up in the attic with that. There's really no way to walk around. I, I, in the report, look at it. What it is, it's a lateral support, a wood okay. support. And it's got uh, the alarm system wiring on it, an electrical outlet, and a switch. It needs to be secured. It's just kind of hanging there. Okay. Uh, it's nothing more than a couple nails that go in it. And you took photos out for the report yeah. already? Okay, thank uh, you so much. Other than that, the attic is fine up there. Mm. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The ground rods and electrical panel box is loose. Again, it's just a still picture. It's just the rod that sticks out of the ground. It's got a little clamp that needs to be tightened up. Okay. kitchen, again, you can't see it, but the, the waste disposal got a lot of debris. I just need to clean the debris out when it runs. It's a little noisy because there's probably, who knows what old food was left in there. Mm -hmm. Bathroom vents and fans all need to be uh, cleaned, the exhaust fans. Okay. And then outside, uh, again, if you want to take a picture, we can. The picture's in the report. It's just the plastic cover over the uh, dryer vent. Okay. It's all partially pulled off, just needs to be reseated on the house and sealed. Hmm. Most everything else in here, I don't know if you want to rock around and do it, is cosmetic. Scuffed and scraped walls, bad painting, dirty carpets, things like that. Yeah. Mechanically and structurally, other than what I said, there are no problems with the house. Okay. So it's, it's actually good to, it, it's just, I, I don't know, maybe this, maybe got mad because, I don't know if it's foreclosure or what it it's is. It's a foreclosure, yeah. 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 typical of foreclosure, they don't clean up or anything, they just kind of leave things the way they are. But. Right. Luckily, it's new enough. Um, some of the fixtures, you know, are crooked. You just simply turn and redo them, but they're the contractor's grade mm -hmm. fixture, so you don't want to update them anyway. Okay. Uh, the only problem I see, unless you have a ladder, is changing that filter there. It's like the filter up in the ceiling there. they got to be changed every month. Mm. So buy them in bulk at Walmart or something where they're cheap and go ahead and get a ladder. I want to show you one thing here, and I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up. Okay. Is this crack running up there, mm. and the crack running there and down, that's typical. The house is made out of wood. Usually in the first five years of a house's life, the wood inside the wall starts to dry. And when it does, it, it, it shrinks, twists, and pulls. And this is actually a taping joint. A good rule of thumb, as long as it's following the taping joint, a straight line like that, it's not a structural concern. Okay. So structurally and mechanically, everything is good yeah, to Yeah, you have a post-tension yes. slab, which is the best slab you can get. Uh, absolutely no movement on the slab. Okay, very good. Uh, framing's fine. It's all sawn wood. It's not composites. Mm. So it's uh, it's not a bad house. It's a well-built house. It just wasn't well cared for. I mean, obviously, even after they painted it, they started banging it up a little bit. Yes. Okay, that's good to know. It's well-built house. It's just cosmetics. Yeah. And if you look at some of the door stops here... If you notice, this one's got the rubber tip, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the drop the house are missing the rubber tips. You're going to want to replace those, otherwise, first of all, they're going to serve no purpose, and 
if they if you do swing the door open, they're gonna they'll damage the the door inside the door. And again, missing out that cover. All the windows are working, the, yeah, the no, lock working. and everything. This is a uh, Energy Star home. Oh, it's wonderful. Energy Star, that means that it has thermal pane, argon gas, double pane windows, uh, R30 insulation, and it also has a radiant barrier. Okay. It is an R14 air conditioner, which is a high efficiency. Uh huh. So if cap and trade ever gets voted in, they're safe. Mm. Uh, and. Oh, it's, even though it has one air conditioner, it's still two zones. It has a thermostat upper and lower. So off that one system, you can still control how you want the air to go. So if you're not upstairs, you can keep the downstairs cooler, vice versa. Oh, without, that's really good. Without doing the whole house. Yeah, so that just save some money. But yeah, it's it, it was they were ahead of their time. Well, actually three years ago, they, they started the Energy Star homes, but it's, it's a higher end as far as that. I believe the master was fine. The only thing I saw here is if you notice up here, that's just where water got on here. Mm -hmm. And this right here is particle board, so if moisture gets back there, the wood swells up. Okay. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, a lot of people just, you know, they set a rag up there, they splash. Uh, need to redo the corners of the tile to get a little bit of crack in the corners. Again, just overall regular maintenance. Okay. Commodes are fine, bathrooms are fine, everything flushed, all the fixtures work properly, all the Components drain. Whirlpool works fine. The heating. Uh, heating. Uh, um, heating. I couldn't check. I cycled the unit. The fan works and it blows, okay. but there's no gas to the house. Okay. And if you go outside and look, you see the gas meter. Sometimes I'll turn it on, but they've got a tag, so I can't pull the tag off. Mm. But, uh, okay. but that's not a lot of worry. Like I said, you if the if the furnace comes on and cycles, and what I do is I turn it on to make sure that the circuit board's working. I, I wait for the. It's got a. Uh, Electronic igniter. They don't have pilots anymore. Okay. So it's actually a glow plug. Glow plug comes on. So the only thing's missing, there's no gas to go into it. Okay, but, it's, but the machines and yeah. units function. Everything else works. Blower, igniter, everything works in it. Okay. So were you able to check the, the AC and how, yes. how good it is? AC, uh, what I did is I ran it both uh, upper and lower. Okay. And I do temperature going in there versus temperature coming out. And Requirements are it has to fall between 16 and 21 degrees. Okay. Upstairs was right at 20. Downstairs was about, I think it was almost 19. So they're they're both working with the way they're supposed to. Okay. The units are real in real good shape. Okay. So no need to replace no, or not anything. Beat up. They haven't been abused. Nobody's been messing with them. Uh, I don't think they've serviced the furnace, but it's absolutely clean inside. No dirt, no no damage to the outside components. Mm -hmm. I actually, I don't think it's ever been gotten into because it's the tape, the original tape was still on there. Okay. So, in my opinion, it would be a good idea probably to have the unit serviced and cleaned, and you should do that every year in Houston. Okay. So. Gotcha. Do you know around how much that would cost? Uh, it runs about 100 and a quarter. 100 and a quarter, and okay. Best time to do it is in the spring because, obviously, air conditioners are more important than furnaces here. So. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think other than that, everything else is pretty academic. It's just getting here with scrub brush and cleaning. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Guy. Okay. Want to say bye to Fatima and Abbas? Bye. <laughs>